Alright guys, we're back here with another Dokkan Bar video and for today's video, we're going to be taking on this new event here that we got for the April Fool's uh, celebration, the uh, Dance and Attack the Para Para Brothers event. So obviously this came with the April Fool's thing um, that we got, so right here. Uh, obviously the Dokkan exercise event was not actually real, uh, you know, this happens every year, right, obviously. Uh, we get 20 stones, a wallpaper, and a copy of the unit. I like the stones. Uh, 20 stones is pretty generous, honestly. And here we have the unit themselves. Um, so let's go ahead and take on the actual event. So we'll do this. We'll turn the scenario on. How many stages? Two? Yeah, two stages here that we have going on. So let me see. What's the effect here? GT heroes, huh? Okay. Um, I guess I can. Yeah, we'll just take this team down, and then we'll find the GT heroes category. I think it's somewhere down here. Yep. And then, uh, I guess we can run you as the lead. Sure. We'll run. What's your? It says seventy-seven. No, it's one twenty. Okay. So we'll run uh, them. We'll run GT trio beep and do. Or oob, I mean, and then we'll run the two LRs, and then hopefully we can get a okay, perfect. So yeah, two forty-five right there, perfect. And so I believe at this stage we'll give the card and then the medals. Okay. Uh, we I guess we can go over there the unit real quick, right? So I feel like they're actually decent for free to play. I've seen their attack stats, and I'm not even gonna lie, it it's really really bad but like the way that this they support and um they support and they have like decent defense i think it's good enough uh to consider them a pretty good unit especially considering that they're not easy aid yet um so he won in 120 percent defense that's that's decent right then they get they give all allies attack and defense plus 25 percent self-excluded so they don't actually get that support okay and then puts an additional two key in all allies again self-excluded 25 percent attack when the character is the first or second to obtain keys first in a turn and then plus an additional defense plus 120 and all allies key two and, and defense plus 25 percent when the character is the third to obtain keys first in a turn and then high chance of sealing all enemy super attacks at the start of turn when there's a GT Heroes category enemy. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Proud Power Brothers are not on GT bosses, which is, I mean, I get why, but also, I don't know, man. It's I mean, it's the same deal as movie bosses. Just add the villains, you know, just add any villain to it. But um, obviously, most of the time, you'll be running them on slot three, so uh you know they'll be getting the 120 percent defense and then they'll also be giving the two key def of 25 percent defense to all allies including themselves and then 120 percent defense on top of that right and then they have this really cool mechanic high chance of sealing all enemy super attacks at the start of turn when there's a gt heroes category enemy i feel like that could be pretty useful for something like sbr um if you are able to run them in a stage that does have a GT hero uh, category enemy, I mean, you're sealing all the enemies, right? So I think that's pretty good. And then their super attack effect, I think, is here. I have it. I have them somewhere here. I think they raise attack. No, okay. Greatly raise defense for three turns. Cost supreme damage to enemy and raises allies uh, attack by 25% for one turn, self excluded. So, I mean, if you run them in slot three, this won't really matter. Um, and the three turns, I guess, doesn't really matter either because you'll, you'll be, um, you know, off rotating them, right? So, but I mean, the greatly raised defense is still good, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in here and see what this is about. Um, all right, so there's the three characters. Um, okay. During their journey, they came across Goku and the crew who were also traveling the universe in search of the Dragon Balls. Oh, so they were also looking for the Dragon Balls. Okay. The Power Power Brothers were defeated and failed the mission as a punishment. 
they were absorbed. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Boom. Oh, I see. So everyone uh, is inside, I believe. <laughs> You're so funny, bro. With the certain issue within mind game, the Power Power Brother is forced to reveal the secret of Luke's weak point. Um, okay. Okay, so I believe they're probably all teaming up to fight the uh, the the boss, I guess, who's controlling this guy, right? Um. Okay. Oh, I, I think they're gonna be doing the uh, like the Kamehameha from the inside and then from the outside to both hit them. Oh, hit the robot at the same time, right? Uh, I wonder how many stages this is. We'll put the gear right there. Then you guys can get this. I meant to equip the yellow orbs, but Vegeta should be enough to take him down. Okay. 1.5. Yeah, this should be enough, I think. Alright. That's it. Yep. Cool. And we got some of the cards as well for dupes and super attack effect. <laughs> Goku and Pan managed to defeat. Blah, 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 blah. Pan and the followers who have been absorbed were finally safely released. Cool. Um, I see, so this, this is like a, what are they going to do now that they're not uh, under the, the villainous boss, I guess? I don't know. Now, uh, I don't remember watching too much of GT. I mean, I know most of what happens through, you know, the uh, video games and stuff, but um, not, not the actual anime right so i'm not really sure if this is canon or like if this is one of those things that uh dokkan just kind of makes right but i'll say what we're gonna do now our lives are no longer in danger yeah so they're free now no need to look for the dragon balls Because they're trying to run away. Oh, I think this is when... Um, no, I think this does happen in the anime where they they fight Go uh, Trunks, Pan, and Goku, and then they make them dance. I think that happens. Okay, hopefully we can just go ahead and finish this off in one turn. Oh, nice additional. Perfect. Was that uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that we have in the middle slot? Or... No. Oh, yeah, it was. Wow, okay. Triple Super. Cool. Too bad that they don't get any defense on Super, because then that'd be, that would make them a lot better. And then, yeah, we got a medal right there for them. Cool. Okay. So, uh, this might be the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're like, we're not trying to fight. Okay, they're thanking them. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. You will inspire the world with like, the singing and dancing from now on. In the beginning for the Power Power Brothers. With the new resolve, embarked on their new journey. Good luck, Power Power Brothers. Bring the world, join energy with your cheerful songs and dances. Cool. Okay, this was a neat little uh, event. Again, since the Power Power Brothers are 
you know, decent and I, I feel like a decent free to play card. Um, I could definitely see their easy A being something that's that's going to be actually, you know, pretty decent, right? Uh, which I'm happy to, to see. Uh, I could see them maybe easy a not during the celebration, or I mean, maybe. Nah, I don't think so, though. Um, maybe for Halloween. I think that's what usually happens when uh, April Fool's unit will come out and then they'll come out or then they'll easy a during halloween i think that's happened before i'm not sure though but yeah again let me know your thoughts down below about the power power brothers event here and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video